Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R. In this session, we are going to learn how to interpret results of t-test. And for that, we will use data set tooth growth which is bundled with R and that data set head is here. And as we see here, three variables are there. We will know more about these variables using str function and the data set name for str. And as we see here, length is a numeric variable, uh, supplement is a factor variable and dose is a uh, numeric variable again. We will know more about that tooth growth as we have to apply statistical test here and uh, interpret the results in tooth growth. Uh, that length is a numeric tooth, uh, numeric tooth length and uh, supplement is a factor, supplement type 2 supplements are there VC and OJ. These two categories are there in this variable factor or two levels are there in this variable factor. Dose is a numeric dose in milligrams per day. Now, these two levels will confirm by using table function of tooth growth and the tooth growth dollar supplement and here we will we see that in OJ orange juice 30 observations are there, in VC 30 observations are there. Now, uh, this is sufficient knowledge for us to apply t-test uh, as t-test is for comparing two categories or two levels of a factor variable and here we will compare between OJ and VC. We should know one more thing here that the length shall be, shall be normally distributed one to know that, that the length variable which we are going to compare is normally distributed we will use shapiro dot test on this length variable tooth growth dollar length and here the p value is 0 0.191 and null hypothesis for this shapiro will test is data is normally distributed or in other words there is no difference in normal distribution and the data distribution, the data which we have, that distribution is not different than the normal distribution. That is the null hypothesis, bear with my spellings. And this p value is 0 0.101, means the probability that the data is normally distributed. Uh, is uh, 0 0.1091 that is quite above that level alpha which we considered here alpha as 0 0.05 and as this 0 0.1091 is greater than 0 0.05 we say that this data is normally distributed. Another test also we can apply that test is called is from package nor test to confirm that the data is normally distributed. Again, we will interpret this also, not package, we will have to use library there and NOR test is there. In NOR test, we have uh, Anderson Darling test, AD dot test and again, we will give the data name which we want to confirm whether it is normally distributed or not. This test is alternative to Shapiro dot test. And here also p value is 0 0.087 means almost 0 0.09 that is way above this uh, 0 0.05. Therefore, we say that the data is normally distributed and we can apply t-test here. And for that reason, we will apply t-test here, apply t-test and for that we will use the function t-test. Initially, we will apply independent sample t-test as that OJ and VJ are uh, uh, independent from each other. Uh, 30 mice were used in that OJ and 30 mice were used than used in that uh, vitamin C supplement VC. Therefore, this is independent sample t test and there uh, we will have the formula length. This formula interface also can be used or we can use those data sets separated. Here formula interface is uh, quite good to use as this data is long table. Uh, you will understand what long table is that length determined by supplement and that data is coming from tooth growth data set. Okay. This is sufficient for us, we will run that and we will 
we have got the results these results we have to interpret it's a wells two sample t test therefore it's robust to the uh, distribution means any uh, even non parametric distributions also uh, can be used here this test can be applied to your uh, non normal distributions also and here we will see that output is t 1.910153 p value that t statistics is 1.9153 p value is 0.06063 and df is 55 df is very large therefore our results uh, we will have more confidence on our results if degrees of freedom is very uh, very large for if degrees of freedom is less then uh, the reliability of our interpretations may not be that good uh, power of our analysis may not that may not be that good we'll go to the power analysis in my next video p value is 0.06506063 uh, this p value is greater than 0.05 null hypothesis here is there is no difference between these two groups and this 0.06063 is we can interpret naively uh, th this is not very true interpretation very correct interpretation that the p value is the probability of null hypothesis being true that's not the case the actual statement is different uh, i will explain that statement whenever i go for explanation or interpretation of null hypothesis discussion of null hypothesis in that video i will discuss that but this 0.06 p value is more than our desired uh, uh, decided alpha or alpha is 0.05 therefore at this level of significance we will accept the null hypothesis that there is no difference in the groups because of the those vitamin supplements okay. there is no difference we accept the null hypothesis here okay. if this p value was less than this 0.06 uh, 0.05 if p value of were less than 0.05 would have to accept the alternative hypothesis that true difference in means is uh, not equal to zero or the difference is actually statistically significant we have to say that this is one interpretation from p value Okay. p value if greater than alpha if greater than this 0.05 we have to say that uh, null hypothesis is true there is no difference if p value is less than uh, this 0.05 we have to say that null hypothesis is false and we have to accept the alternative hypothesis if this p value were less than 0.05 would have accepted this alternative hypothesis that the difference is not equal to zero means uh, the statistically significant difference is there this is one way other way is to use t statistic and uh, grossly there is uh, t statistics dependent on the degrees of freedom at very high degrees of freedom if degrees of freedom is less than uh, is more than 30 if df is more than 30 then we can accept that if t value is less than 2 there is no difference if t value is more than 2 there is statistically significant difference okay this is same as p value because t value p value is derived from t value only t value less than 2 we accept the null hypothesis if p value is more than 2 we uh, reject the null hypothesis and we accept the alternative hypothesis and when we accept the alternative hypothesis we say that there is statistically significant difference this is another way the third way is we can interpret using the 95 percent confidence interval and uh, as our 95 uh, percent confidence interval or that uh, the hypothesized difference shall be within this uh, confidence interval to accept null hypothesis okay. our hypothesized difference is zero we say that there is no difference when actual difference value is zero equal to zero if that hypothesized zero is in this confidence limit we have to accept that there is no difference if hypothesized value is above this limit or below this limit we have to accept the null hypothesis okay. now uh, we will uh, i will show you very easy one that is you uh, plot one for uh, interpretation of the results and for that we will require library weber w e b r this library provides plot method which will plot this t test object and for that i will save this t test object as tt and class of this object is ht test class of tt and this class is ht test and this weber package provide method to 
uh, plot this ht object therefore plot and tt and you will see a very good to interpret very easy to interpret plot you see here a blue dot and you at the top you can see the t value 1.915 p value 0 0.06 and degree of freedom sufficient information to interpret the t test output and here this blue dot is not in this rejection region this blue dot is in acceptance region we have to accept the null hypothesis that there is no difference if this blue dot were here in the rejection region or were here in the rejection region on the left side would have to reject the null hypothesis and would have to accept the alternative hypothesis that there is significant difference okay. this is based on this plot this plot weber plot is very useful for interpretation okay. in my next video i will show you uh, many different uh, t-test results and how this blue dot goes to this rejection region also or goes to the acceptance region also based on the uh, differences in those two different categorical uh, uh, groups or categories of that uh, variable another package is very useful for interpretation that package provides us uh, that verbose or uh, in sentences that provides us that report uh, function is for that library report provides this report function and you will see how it interprets this tt tt object and here that tt object is there interpretation is there this interpretation you have to put in your own words otherwise plagiarism will be there if you cut paste this okay that's a caution the welsh two sample t test testing the difference of length by supplement effect of supplement on the length is tested here mean in group oj is 20.66 mean in group vc is 19.16 19.16.96 suggests that the effect is positive effect is positive statistically not significant we also interpreted that it's not statistically significant because here the uh, t statistics is in the acceptance region statistically not significant and medium the effect size is medium okay that effect size is required to calculate the uh, power of the results and here the power of the results is also provided this is the cohen's d is effect size that is 0.52 i will also explain the effect size in my uh, other videos 95 percent confidence interval is also provided here and t statistics is also provided p value is also provided here and power is not provided but power can be calculated using the cohen's d these calculations i will explain in my uh, next results okay. you can you can uh, make the alternatives also here I will make the alternative is equal to greater alternative is equal to uh, less I will make and the results will change because this is one sided t test now the plot you will see here in the plot the uh, value is in the acceptance region okay. we have to accept the null hypothesis that uh, group OJ is not less than vc we have to accept that group oj is not less than group vc okay. that report also will study here the welsh two sample t test testing the difference on length by supplement is provided suggests that the effect is positive statistically not significant and medium and difference is this okay. this means that uh, oj is not less than uh, vc effect of oj on length is not less than we see we'll use the greater now you will see what happens greater run that run tt this one plot tt and you see that this is in the rejection region now one sided t test our hypothesis was oj is greater than we see a null hypothesis was oj is not greater than we see and we have to accept that oj is actually greater than we see okay. we reject the null hypothesis that oj is not greater than we see that alternative hypothesis we will see here in the tt that alternative hypothesis true difference in means between oj and group we see is greater than zero and as p value is less than 0 0.03 we have to accept this alternative hypothesis again uh, our uh, difference oj is greater than zero greater than zero is actually here is actually greater than zero 
okay our hypothesized difference is within this range it's a greater than 1 yeah. and uh, that's how we interpret the t test results and uh, these two packages actually made the interpretation very easy for us just by looking at the location of t test in the rejection region we say that null hypothesis is rejected if that is not in the rejection region if that is in the acceptance region we say that null hypothesis is accepted it became so easy for non statistician to interpret the results of t test here in my next video i will go for other concepts of statistics thanks thanks for watching this video if you have like this video please click the like button please share this video with your friends please click the icon of that bell icon to get notifications of my new videos and your comments will help my videos to reach a larger audience also uh, thanks thanks for watching my video